Hello aquaponics enthusiast, today an interesting video, I'm quite excited because we're going to transfer some of the fish that have been grown for years in this aquaponic system that is behind me to the new aquaponic system. So I keep this aquaponic system, I really like this, you know, uh, if you have built one of those, they are really great. Uh, you can grow some uh, pretty good food on them, you know, some nice fish. And uh, I'm going to use them to propagate uh, the plants that I'm going to grow then in the big holistic aquaponic system. Today, I want to start transfer some fish. So, you know, in this aquaponic system, I have been growing some Australian native fish, uh, mainly silver perch. And now they reach uh, probably four years. So, you know, that's quite old fish. And I want to show you those fish. I want to do a, a weight check, you know, having a, an idea of the weight of the fish. And we'll keep some here, but I will transfer, transfer a few into the new aquaponic system, see how they go. Because ideally, here I want to put new little fish and I want to continue to keep those alive as pets mainly, <laughs> to be honest, uh, and put them in the big aquaponic system. Have a look at how they look like you see fish that have been grow, grown for years so i want to take opportunity of this video to show you that a um, lot of people who start aquaponics and fail then they think that uh, anyone who is trying to grow fish in aquaponics will eventually kill them and i want to show you that it's completely wrong i know a lot of people who are growing food growing fish successfully in aquaponics they harvest it and consume it and it's working really well and here we have fish that have been grown for three to four years. So uh, they are not huge because they are native fish. So in winter, they don't grow much. They, they mostly grow in summer. But still, they, you know, you, you see that you can keep fish alive for a long period of time. And now I'm going to transfer them to the other aquaponic system where I may keep them for a few more years. So uh, let's have a look. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I also have a catfish, Australian catfish. I think I may keep it here because um, when I do some trainings, when I organize, I organize trainings, we work a lot on those systems because they are quite simple to understand, to see how they work. And I like to show the fish and here obviously they are reachable, while in the big aquaponic system it's going to be way more challenging to catch them, to show them to my students. So let's have a look at what type of fish we have now. Let's catch them, trying to do a, a weight check on the fish. So I want to keep record of the quantity of fish that I have in the aquaponic system. You know that I already have some golden trout. Uh, we caught them, we did some average weight. They are uh, at the moment around 93, 95 grams. And uh, I know that I have uh, 100 fish there. So I'm going to add those ones. Uh, I already have nine, nine kilos of fish there, basically. I'm going to add this one, maybe adding two kilos of fish into the aquaponic system, but I'm going to keep record of the number of fish I have and of the average weight of the fish. So let's do it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So to do that, I have um, a bucket, a large bucket, and I have a net. So. Once again, the fish that I, that I have here, I really love those fish. They are, they are almost pet for me. So I want to take good care of them. I don't want to stress them too much if it's not necessary. So I'm just putting a bit of water in the bucket. Okay, that's not too bad. And now let's try to catch them and see the size of the fish. Oh, the catfish is here and we have a nice silver perch with it. So I will leave it here for now and I will catch him back later.
I have a very nice fish here. Very, very nice. And two more. Okay, I will start with these four fish. Just see how they go in the, in the big aquaponic system. I don't want to put too much. And here we see them. And we see that there is a catfish with it. So the catfish, I'm not going to keep it here. Uh, I w uh, sorry, I will keep it in this uh, little aquaponic system. So I remove the catfish, uh, I will put it back because I didn't want to keep it really up. Here he is, he is back. And now we have four fish. We do an average weight on them and we release them in the big aquaponic system. Okay, so the fish are into this bucket. Uh, they are quite stressed, I have to say. So I will try to be very gentle with them. And I will do now a weight, an average weight on each of them, one by one, and I will release it. To do that, I just take a bit of water, usual process. Take my scale. The fish are quiet. And the golden trout are all at the bottom of the tank. So will I be able to catch them by hand? Yes. So, first thing take the weight so 2.253 kg but what I will do I will tear it that's I know the average weight six hundred fifty grams for this one and now So we have to think that it's winter and those fish that are native So one fish was 650 grams. So let's see another one now.
580. So let's release it quite quickly. Up. So we have two fish, one was 650 grams, the other one was 580 and we have two left. The two left seem to be slightly bigger. So I will do a bit more acclimatation even if the water temperatures are very similar. I add a bit more water into the bucket. I mix it, you see. Up. Now I will catch the next fish. This one is uh, 670 grams. 670. And I will now release it again. He's gone. Oh, he seemed to be very happy. Okay, and now the biggest one. This one is really big compared to the others. Average weight. Okay. Eight hundred seventy, eight hundred seventy grams. And now we can release the fish.
So I am super happy now to see those fish swimming in this large ponds because I think the other one, the other aquaponic system was a bit too small for them. I would recommend to have them smaller. Because I knew that I was going to build the big pond, I didn't want to have them. I wanted to keep them as long as possible to be able to transition them here. And now I just want to keep them grow there. Uh, I think they are going well with the trout. I don't see any problem. Anyway, they are very large size comparing to the trout, so no issue. Those fish, uh, I, I had them since they were like maybe 20 grams, like very, very small fish. Not, not even 20 grams, like five or 10 grams very small uh, fingering so i'm very happy to see them now swimming in this pond uh, obviously it's winter so in winter those fish they don't consume any food or they consume a very low quantity of food they don't have much energy so i guess they're going to just stay on the bottom relax for winter in summer they're going to be a bit more active and that's when uh, we may have more chances to see them so I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you enjoy to see my fish. Uh, it's not very often that I do videos about the fish, but here you, you had a very good opportunity to see the silver perch that have been grown in the Ecoflex aquaponic system, which is a type of timber aquaponic system that is off grand uh, that I offer as well. So very cool fish, uh, I think they are very happy now and I hope you enjoy seeing them as well. If you are interested by aquaponics and you haven't started yet, I recommend you to get the free aquaponics guide from the description of the video just below. Or if you go on the website Aquaponics Revolution, you're going to be able to have access to this uh, guide for completely free. Uh, it's a six step training. So it's a free training to help you to build your aquaponic system and manage it in the best way possible. If you are interested to know more about aquaponics and to see more uh, videos about those fish and about the aquaponic system in general, uh, you can subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment if you have any question. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.
don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!